हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे और टॉपिक इज इलेक्ट्रिक करंट वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इन वेरी सिंपल मैनर लेटर्स मेक अ टी टी आर फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इन अ वेरी इजी मैनर हियर द वर्ड सी विल बी हेल्पफुल टू मेमोराइज डेफिनेशन you can remind the con- word c as charge flow per unit time so we can define electric current as amount of charge flow per unit time through any cross section or obviously you can define it in better way but it's a just a trick to understand the concept okay next so u u will be helpful in memorizing the unit unit will be ampere si unit of current is ampere please make a note and keep this thing in your mind forever okay next the word r r can be memorized as rate of flow of charge we can define electric current as rate of flow of charge it's a very different and very easy definition please keep this thing also in your mind okay r stands for reading from emitter as you all know that emitter is a device which is used to measure the amount of electric current through any wire okay so please keep this thing in your mind that reading can be taken from emitter okay we can use emitter to take the amount of current from any wire okay next you know this this is emitter and a stands for ampere okay it is full form of emitter is ampere meter okay you can understand it very easily okay next e e stands for electron flow opposite to current so conventional direction of current will be opposite to electrons if anybody asks that what should be the direction of electric current so then you can answer him like that opposite to electrons okay current will flow from opposite to electrons someone says that in direction of proton but it is better way to define to answer that current will flow opposite to electrons you can understand this in given figure here flow of, flow of electrons are from b to a getting while direction of current is from b to the, as you can understand with the help of arrow getting flow of conventional di- conventional current is given here and flow of electrons is also given so please try to understand this with the figures next n stands for not vector one important question can be arise from here only in many competition exams this question has come many time that elect means in this manner find out vectors from given options in like this so please keep this thing in your mind that electric current is not vector it is scalar it is not scalar it is tesla we will understand it in next chapter okay t stands for two types of current there are two types of current one is alternating current and second is direct current i hope you understood very well